This girl right here, I have no idea what she's thinking or what the purpose of this shot is. But hey, let's make it look better. I'm going to apply my preset no tree. Kaboom. Here, I have a film print emulation to Kodak 2383. Kaboom. I'm going to dial down that exposure a little bit. Looking over at my false color. You know what? Turn off the film print. I'm going to get my black level first. I'm going to get that down to about one. Bring in my film print emulation. Now, let me look at the skin here. Qualifier. It's in a nice range. We can make it a little bit better. Let's add a little bit of saturation. How about 60? Feels good. I'm going to go down to my color warper tool because I want to bring the colors, the hues of the skin tone into a very sexy skin area. Skin is gorgeous. Love the skin thy in. Okay, that might be a little too intense, but we're in a good spot before or after. Now we're going to do a little bit of beauty work. See, I mean, I mean, this just you know, type of skin that I like, this isn't it. So we're going to fix it. Get in the qualifier, 3D qualifier. We're going to draw it over the skin. Because in today's world, we only like perfect skin. Yes, perfect skin. How's that? Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of blur to my mat that I just created. Now I'm going to zoom in on this guy here so we can see what we're doing. A little bit further. And I'm going to drag the beauty OFX plugin onto the skin smoothing. I'm going to go to filter. Now I'm just going to adjust my filter radius until I see a nice level of effectiveness happening there. And I'm going to adjust my edge threshold until I see the amount of smoothness that I so desire. Now let's go down to preview the edges and recovery. I'm going to adjust the width until it looks a little bit more detailed. This is how I like to do it. And now preview recovery. I want this to look a little more detailed too. So we're going to bring texture back in. A little bit of blur. Now, let's bring that texture back. Scale it just a little there. Oh, too much. For after. Now she's ready to be on camera. Wonderful. Do we have time to fix the eyes? Doubtful. Something in the way. Ooh, ooh. Draw one more of these guys here. We're actually doing a fix of a problem that doesn't exist because her eye bags don't really seem to even be there. But I'm just going to soften it up a little bit because why not? We're doing so well with her already. Inside softness and outside softness to two and two. Softness to one. Repeat for the second mask. And now we're going to bring on the DCTL from Raven Grade called Master Tone. This is where it's at, people. What on earth am I doing? Okay, I like that. That actually does help. And I just want to bring a little bit of sharpness. So I'm going to create one more mask here. And I'm going to do this over the glasses. I'm going to motion track this. Very nice. And now I'm going to the sharpness, uh, mist, mix to 70, and I'm going to drag this guy down to about 43. 
before or after. Adding sharpness to the eyes. Wow. That's something. Maybe a little vignette here. Oh, always. Kaboom. Happy with that. Now I always like to add at the very end, I add a little grain, add some halation. I sharpen, film blur. Do we want to embolden the whites? Why not? A little bit of compression. We're on a roll today, my goodness. I still have no idea what she's thinking. 